pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. <clears throat> Mayor Dave Dillon. Here. Council members Ken Mueller. Here. Norris Johnson. Here. Lindsay Larson. Here. Lori Game. Lori Game is absent. Make a motion to approve the agenda. So move. Second. Uh, discussion. I have two new business items to add. Um, under new business, uh, item 13E. One, access road to market property near the liquor store, order plans and specs. And we'll need to have a motion on that. And then 13J1, possibly looking at changing the date of the June council meeting to Tuesday, June 20th. That was my fault. Can I get a motion second? I'll make a motion for that. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Agenda passes, consent agenda. I get a motion for that. So moved. Second. On the, on the consent agenda tonight is the approval of minutes April 20th, 2023. Approval of bills. Resolution 2315, approving donations. Any discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Consent agenda passes. Open forum. If there's anyone here tonight that would like to discuss anything that's not on the agenda, um, please. Give your name and address, and you'll have a chance to speak. Um, first, we did have someone that did sign in, uh, Mr. Hollenkamp. Go ahead. Hello, my name is Dan Hollenkamp. I live at 605 Central Avenue South, Malacca, Minnesota. Good evening. For a number of years, I have regularly, regularly attended these meetings. I have found them helpful and informative, and they have given me a, an increased pride in my community. The work this council and the city employees do to keep things civil and functioning are not small things. Thank you. I do apologize for not attending last month's meeting. I had encountered an unforeseeable circumstance and was not able to attend. I did a review of the video from April 20th meeting and I was very disappointed in this council's decision to reject the ordinance allowing residents to have four chickens in the city limits of Malacca. Over the years a number of residents have come before this council and have request, requested to raise a small number of chickens for various reasons. Each time the council has rejected the proposal. At the council meeting on April 21st, 2022, one resident brought this topic to the, before the council again. When I took over the agenda, I put forth the effort, extra effort and obtained a list of over 100 names of residents of the city of Malacca. I found that not only was there support from the people of the city to have chickens, I also discovered that over 90% of the residents sampled were in favor of having chickens. I made my request to the council at, at the June 21st, 20, 2022, and I received an open-minded, if not positive, response. At the time, Councilman Dillon said, I have changed my thoughts on it which he continued to express his openness to chickens in town. This is found at one hour and four minutes on the video from that meeting. I was informed that I could proceed with my request for the zone change and submit my request to the Planning Commission. The Planning Commission likewise was open to the idea. They approved the desire to have chickens in the city of Malacca. Following this, life happened and the ordinance was tabled until it could be properly reviewed and all parties could present, be present for a discussion and a vote. A year after the process began, the ordinance was brought before the City Council. The discussion began at minute, uh, minute 7 and 44 seconds and ended at minute 9 and 28 seconds. According to the video on the website, the City website, there was barely any discussion on the topic. The only mention of the Council discussing this topic at any length was made by Mayor Dillon at minute 8.20. I was very disappointed that in under two minutes the Council rejected this, this this effort four to one. No reason given for the residents of this community for the rejection. A simple vote that ignored the will of the people of Malacca. I am not looking for reasons. I don't need answers. What I do request is that this, that this council, of uh, this council, is that they let the people decide what they want for the town. I respectfully request that the council add to next month's agenda a discussion in regards to creating a referendum to allow city uh, chickens in the city limits of Malacca. 
Thank you. Thank you. Is there anybody else that has any issues or concerns you want to bring up? Hi, Chris Carlson, mm -hmm. 608 965th Street, Malacca, and representing Borgholm Township. Last month, you folks made mention of writing a letter to the state of Minnesota encouraging them to hurry along with the 23 project. Mm -hmm. And if the city was willing, the township would like a copy of that letter. If we could put our letter head on and send it to the same address as you guys did in support sure. of that. Okay, great, thank you. Anyone else? Okay, moving on. Uh, no public hearing, no request communications. Ordinance and resolutions. Ordinance 511. Amendment allowing slaughtering in B2 general business district first reading. You have it in front of you. I don't know if there's Tammy, if there's anything you need to add, if anybody has questions. This is regarding a potential new business in that business district. <coughs> it was passed by Planning Commission. Yep, right. the public hearing was done at the Planning Commission and the Commission did approve it. Any questions? Any questions here? Hmm? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Ordinance 511 Aye. passes. Okay. Who has the motion? Uh, was, were you the motion, Ken? Uh, I'll make a motion, please. No, who, I, I don't know if it was Ken or not. I, okay. And the second? Second. Yeah, he'll have to check the. Okay. I couldn't hear which one of them said it. So 511 passes. Uh, reports Department's Boards Commission, City Manager Gambling <coughs> Fund. Uh, yep, yeah, this is for um, kind of restructuring the previous gambling policy that we had. Um, Police, you're good. I provided as a handout the uh, uh, summary report from April, aside from that everything's going well. Uh, and I gave you before I went out on leave that we were back to full staffing. Uh, I think uh, I believe you got a summary report in an mm -hmm. April meeting for uh, March that showed a significant amount of traffic. The officers are out self-initiating a lot of traffic and other type of activities. So having full staff allows for more freedom to do those things. It's always great when they can get out there and, and go after some of the issues such as DWIs and drugs and traffic offenses. Good. Thank you. Um, parks. Approve the survey for the future trail development. Yeah, we had an individual contact us regarding the homegrown grant that is available, and the grant is available for up to $50,000. Um, you have the map in your packet, too, of the area. And the boundary lines for the city property on the PIDs, um, that th the city properties align with this particular map. Um, Kurt Bowerly, Jordan DeBoer have worked hard on kind of laying out the mapping design. So this 50,000 grant, when, and speaking with the individual, said this is the kind of projects they're looking for. So we would really like to get this grant in by the end of June, but we would require a survey to make sure that our lines are all lined up. And I know um, I was speaking with uh, Seth Monroe, and he said there is some issues with some of the boundaries, so I think we need to get those figured out before we build trails. And that would be the purpose of the survey? Yes. To get that all yeah. cleaned up? Yeah. Okay. And would that grant money be uh, able to be used for the survey costs if it's... We certainly could. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. so. All right, can I get a motion for that? So moved. Uh, any other discussion on it? Who's putting in the grant? Uh, both uh, Kurt and I will be working on the grant okay. together, so we'll so be get a lot of that together. Through the city? Yes, Okay. the city. We'll, okay. we'll do it, get it submitted. Okay. Any other discussion? 
All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So the grant proposal passes. Public Works, public information meeting for the wellhead protection. Yep. Uh, he did make mention to me to just bypass that on the agenda tonight. Okay. We can just come back to it? Yeah, he'll come back with some dates. Okay. Liquor store, is Vicki here tonight? No. No. Mm -hmm. Fire department, you guys are here. Um, our side by side is in, and they're gonna put that together. We have the tracks we received. Um, the pump and tank is in transit, so mm -hmm. we should have that. Hopefully by around July, we should have everything put together and ready. Um, Another reminder, our golf tournament is July 8th. If anybody <clears throat> wants to attend or donate, both. Um, the only thing else is we've been starting to spec our new engine, which is going to be next year's CIP purchase, which we've been putting off for four years. We were supposed to get one in 20, and I delayed it because um, of just, I didn't think we were needing one yet, so um, it's a little more than we anticipated, but we've also been doing very well with our gambling stuff, so we will be able to help purchase and we'll have to figure out with the townships and all that stuff, how that'll all work. I, I don't know exactly. I mm -hmm. talked to Craig a little bit and he said everybody works together and mm -hmm. we'll figure that out. So. Yeah. And we would use um, as much of the reserve as we can to spend that down. There is a good sum of money in there right now, about 400000 So we would put that towards that pumper truck and kind of, if we have to, we'll do a, a bonding equipment certificate. Is that a long process, like ordering out and getting it ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, as long as we get everything spec'd before the end of the year, we'll have it before the end of the year. In 24, so, so yeah. like I said, we started the process yeah. now, and and, we and then a, we'll a spec sheet's 152 pages long, mm -hmm. and yeah. so, and then we'll do an RFP for that as well, just like we did with the other one. Yep, yeah. and they'll, the one company will come up and we'll go through that spec with us and explain what everything means because we talked the initial of what we were looking for, what we wanted, and yeah. And, I, I'm not quite smart enough to understand exactly what all that stuff is, and some of it doesn't make any difference. It's just, they have to have it in there. So, um, besides that, it, it's just uh, everything's going all right. Besides that, it is a process. Good. Thanks, you guys. Uh, one other one too that you mentioned was the rescue truck that FEMA, um, they have a grant writer for. That's uh, 500,000 for that one estimated. And they're hoping that the grant will cover 75% of that or more. Okay. So, but that won't be submitted until this fall. Okay. Good, thank you, Jesse. Uh, planning and zoning, resolution 2316, approving lot coverage and a variance for three foot setback from property line can I get a motion for that? Move for approval. I'll second. <coughs> and any discussion on that? And this was through and planning this, Monday, right? Yeah, this was through the planning commission um, for the Stimlers <coughs> um, to cover more of the 60% of their lot coverage and to place a garage within their property lines. And that was all approved by the planning commission. Anybody have questions on that? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 2316 passes. Mm -hmm. Resolution 2317, approving preliminary plat for Blue Water Potato Patch, Alaska, and, Minnesota. LLC. And do you, um, Phil Carlson is here. Would you yep. like him to kind of give a little detail yes, on that? Yes, you do. Excellent job of that. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, Mayor and Council, the request in front of you is for a conditional use 
permit for uh, townhouses on this property known as the Potato Patch on uh, 2nd Avenue uh, Southwest and for a preliminary plat that would divide that property into the uh, three lots and an out lot. And uh, the Planning Commission reviewed this and uh, there was some question about one part of our uh, recommendation, which was uh, at the southern part of that uh, property where it abuts uh, uh, Fifth Street Southwest, uh, <clears throat> there's a, a, a piece of another street right of way and it makes kind of an odd intersection there. And there was a question mm -hmm. that uh, perhaps the property we suggested vacating just to, to uh, kind of clean up the lot lines and put a little more property in the town project that that might be owned by the property across the street uh, we uh, the city engineer and Tammy and, and I today looked at that and determined that that's not the case uh, and uh, the memo and graphics that I put together today did the council get that and see that there's a, a May 18th memo so I think it explains it clearly that uh, what we had recommended that triangular piece is outside of uh, that other property and really uh, would be appropriate to be vacated allowing uh, the whole site plan to shift south a little and that does a couple of things one it gets it a little farther away from that slope uh, up at the north end uh, which might uh, pose some uh, problem for grading mm -hmm. and second it allows to have a little bit of breathing room between that northern building and the driveway as it was originally proposed you had a building right up against the pavement of of that driveway as it as it curved at the north end uh, so uh, in uh, my uh, memorandum here uh, of today uh, there is only slightly revised uh, uh, recommendation and uh, conditions uh, on that. The other thing that we uh, looked at, just to make sure that there weren't any utilities in the piece of property that we were suggesting be vacated there, there aren't, but there are utilities along the western part of that uh, property. And so, okay. yes. I, I do have to correct you on sure. that. Sure, thank we you. We do have a gas line that goes through here. Okay. Yeah, and we question. also have the water line that goes through here as okay. well. And it's right on the edge of this bump out. Okay. The water line. Okay. So... So, so those do go there, and there's Ballard and Bullard's um, markings here for the gas part that comes okay. up out of the ground. Good. So there is some some issues within that area. Then, uh, Mr. Mayor, if I may suggest it, as as my memo pointed out, these details would be reviewed and verified and pinned down before the final plant comes in. I think in concept, you've got three lots, you've got space to put the driveway. We think we can keep it off the utilities exactly where they are located. Um, if uh, you uh, approve this preliminary and the conditional use permit for the townhouses, I'm confident that we can, we can sort it out yeah. uh, with their uh, yeah. engineers and surveyors mm -hmm. uh, by the time the final plat comes in. The other thing I want to mention is, is that there are utilities in that western part, mm -hmm. and so rather than just a 10-foot drainage and utility easement on the western property line, Phil Gravel, the city engineer, recommends a 30-foot wide. And as the, the map suggests, that 30 feet would be kind of the open space that they had already left there and would not, uh, should not encroach even on, on the driveway mm -hmm. that they uh, proposed there. Uh, the other piece, of course, that we recommended is that the outlot include the entire uh, driveway uh, so that that northern townhouse lot doesn't include a piece of driveway and parking lot so that the outlot, which really is the common area, is driveway and that parking lot, and it just makes for a cleaner subdivision. Uh, so uh, with that, uh, I would uh, recommend the uh, uh, approval of that plat with the conditions in my memo today, only modified to say uh, we'll verify uh, the location of utilities in that vacated portion before the final plat is presented. And I just have one question, mm -hmm. too. So if the city vacates this portion of the right-of-way, um, would he have to change his plat at all 
I mean, it really wouldn't make a difference on his plat that he has here today. Well, vacated means that it would it would revert back Absolutely. to the private property. But I'm owner. saying he shouldn't have to shift anything on here. It really doesn't impact this portion. Um, well, I think that because you're going to yeah. want to slide it south, right? Yeah, a we, little we, bit. Yeah, we, the the. We're sliding it south a little bit to give that little bit of space between the driveway and the building, and then uh, it would uh, uh, that could affect exactly where the lot lines fall between the buildings. Uh, so uh, again, I think the, the the sense of what we recommended is in there, but uh, you're right. We want to uh, make sure we verify the details. And there was also a question of the side setbacks in uh, interior uh, that that was in this that could be accommodated with what we originally proposed, but we need to we need to just verify that. Greg, do you have anything to say? No, I, I think it's a good idea. It could also maybe help <coughs> some distance between the buildings, mm -hmm. depending on how much we move it. So. So all those are very good points. And I didn't know about the other utilities, but we take care of all that through yeah. And and just to be clear, it was originally proposed uh, you had the parking spaces right up against that northern lot line. And uh, we can't quite tell from the grading where that slope starts to go up to fourth. Uh, and we were saying, well, it just makes sense to pull it away from there if you need to. Um, uh, and then vacate the, the property at the south gives you a little more breathing room uh, so if if you need to push it north maybe it's not much of a problem uh, getting into the slope uh, it could be graded or maybe a small retaining wall again I think those are minor details in the in the scheme of this project that that can easily be figured out okay. so you're not that concerned with the whole gas line thing that was my concern. Well, so it's just sitting there. Yeah, that's up. It's not just a line. Piece. It's yeah. Oh, it's right. Yeah, ground. that we'll we'll make sure that we're not somehow putting a building uh, on that, and that there's adequate easement mm -hmm. to get at that. Yeah, because uh, will mm -hmm. you meet the setbacks then if we slide everything down? Yeah. Well, you don't need to have a setback to the gas line. You need a no, setback I mean, to, to the, the to the lot line. line. Yeah. So, yeah. Right, again, still going to meet that. Rather than try and figure it out uh, here across the oh, table, I, we'll make right. sure that it, it gets taken care of with right. the yep. final plat. Yep. Okay, I don't remember. Did I get a motion on this yet or not? No. no. I don't think so. I don't think so either. No. I think we went right into it. Can I get a motion for this? I'll make a motion. I'll second it. All right, any other discussion on 2317? Okay. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? 2317 passes. Okay. Thanks, Phil. Mm -hmm. uh, staying with planning and zoning resolution 2318, approving conditional use permit for Blue Water Potato Patch LLC. Uh, can I get a motion for this? Move for approval. Second. Anything we need to add to this one? It wasn't covered. I think you kind of covered it all. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? The uh, elevation on that on the uh, um, driveway would be. Uh, in regards to the street, the, the street to the east. Are you talking about the driveway into it? Yes. Yeah. What would the elevation be on I that mean, one? Is it, is it, is it good? I mean, is it going? I mean, it's sunk down from the street quite a bit. Well, the uh, driveway's coming in off the of fifth. Off the yeah, fifth. The driveway's coming. Yeah, uh, maybe yeah, the, back. I the driveway comes in from fifth and goes up in dead ends. Okay. So it's not messing with the slopes at the mm -hmm. north and northeast corner. Yeah. How, how does that elevation of that that new street correspond with fifth? Is it? Uh, it's it's a it's, little drop, but it's, it's not bad. Yeah. 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 Not very much. Yeah. yeah. You'll have to do some drainage stuff, but it wasn't. It's not like the other two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. I went backwards there a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> it's pretty easy on this thing. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on. Any other questions? You good, Ken? Yeah. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? 2318 passes. Planning and zoning. Now we're going to talk about an update on the possible annexation discussion. I don't know. Do you want to explain this a little more? Sure. Uh, we met with both Maleka and Borholm Townships in a group meeting with um, quite a bit, our city engineer, public works, Dave and I, and and all of the board, a couple of the board members from each um, township. So, and then they kind of brought up the idea for when we do this $1.5 million project, um, <coughs> that we will be paving this road and they had made mention of would the city consider um, annexing in so part of our next step would basically be re um, connecting with the townships to see are they okay with this we'd have to check with the um, individuals that live along that stretch as well so I'll just turn it over to Damien, and he can kind of give us a, a layout of how the entire process would work through the annexation at that. Point. Yeah, so basically there's three ways to facilitate annexation. One is through what's called an orderly annexation agreement. That's something that can be negotiated between a city and township that basically outlines or lays out all of the criteria for which annexation can occur and all the terms and conditions are basically pre agreed upon. Um, it can be done. It's very often a lengthy process and can be a, a difficult process depending on the, the desire of each political body to do that. Uh, it is possible for the city on its own action to petition for annexation depending on the, the circumstances of <coughs> ownership of the property, touching, um, you know, how much the, the boundaries are surrounded by the city. And then the third option is for a property owner to petition for that. Uh, a lot of the same sort of criteria apply, but depending on each individual lot and the circumstances of each individual property would dictate what avenue could be pursued. So um, what I have been given is, is this kind of like a map of the overall area and outlines in, in orange a lot of the area that they're talking about. Um, in talking with Tammy, what I explained is really the, the first step down this particular road is for each of the townships to reach out to all of the property owners that would potentially be affected by this. They need to gauge their interests. They need to find out if the individual property owners are, are wanting to do this um, or not, because if they want to do it, it makes things much easier and much more streamlined to facilitate. If they are against it, it becomes much more contentious and much more difficult to do. Um, and but we are not the ones that really have that information. And so that's why I suggested to Tammy that it would be best if the, the individual township boards or whomever uh, can reach out to the property owners within that area and have a conversation. And we can take it piece by piece if we need to. Uh, sometimes there are people that want to and others that don't and we can kind of go on the easy ones first uh, and then move down the road from there. So that's generally speaking what the options are, um, but it's hard to say with spe specificity what needs to happen right now because we just don't know what the property owners are wanting. And we don't know the things like the size of what the, the landowners or how many or the lands, how many owners there are, which ones abut the city now, which ones don't, what their acreage is. Things like that. So. And I'll back up even one further. Uh, we haven't even discussed it. <laughs> I mean, it just came right. up at that meeting. Mm -hmm. I don't know who brought it up. I can't remember which township rep said something about us wanting to annex. And I, it was kind of news to me. So we have not had the discussion. So it's really just, it came out of that meeting that maybe we should just bring it up. And, mm -hmm. but there's nothing like, Mm -hmm. imminent happening or anything but right. it's worth the discussion right and i can work with the townships and if you need some help with the addressing i can certainly help you out with that 
um, get that process going with a like a letter of intent of a, a possible annexation and kind of put the feelers out there for them to see what they think. We would kind of, you know, like to know how much you intend to do mm -hmm. before we contact them. So if a guy has sure. like yep. a map on somebody drew on what mm -hmm. you guys would see seem as feasible. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's where we probably should have that <coughs> next meeting with the townships and, you know, kind of focus on this area and and then move from that point forward. And we have to have that meeting, too. Oh, I mean, yeah. You, yep. I mean, you probably want to discuss water and sewer and everything There's else. There's a ton of things to discuss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, that yep. kind of stuff. It's slow moving the process. It will yeah. be. Yeah. Mm hmm but I just don't want any township people thinking that we're like trying right. to go out and annex all this property out. No, nope. it's just starting yeah. the discussion. Yep. So, Anything okay. else on that? Nope, that's it. Okay. Uh, committees, we don't have anything to report there on finished business. We don't. Moving to new business. Update from Stantec on federal grant B23CP Minnesota 0884. Quite a title. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is that preliminary work that Stantec has to do to get that process yeah. running, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And Phil's kind of taking the lead on all that. Do you need any kind of action on that or just information? Are you talking about A? Yep. Yeah, no, that was just merely an update. Okay. Yeah, they're not in the order in the packet. It's the bottom part, right. not a pack order. Yeah. Now we go to the federal grant. I'm not going to read all that. Professional services agreement with Bogart Peterson. Yeah, Phil thought it would be best um, to work with the company that's already started the process when they, the townships were going for a grant. Was it two years ago? A times. Oh, okay. So as long as they had most of the documentation started, it just seemed more feasible for them to finish with the entire area. It sounded like it was going to save us some money, too, because yes. there's a section that wouldn't have to be done. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. That you need some action on, don't you? Can I get a motion yeah. for that? I'll make the motion. Second. So, any other questions on it? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Good there. Now we're on to the proposal from American Engineering Testing for Geotechnical Exploration for that same grant. Can I get a motion for that? I'll make a motion. Second. <coughs> same area. This is just the environmental part of it, right? Or geotech. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That grant passes. Liability coverage waiver form. That's when we do this every year, um, and we check that the member does not waive the tort limits. So I just need a motion on that one. Yep. Can I get a motion move for the move waiver. for approval? A second. Any other discussion? Like she said, same one we always do. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Waiver form passes. Purchase agreement for purchase of property. Whitehorse 33 LLC. <coughs> Is there, there wasn't a map in here, was there, of that property? Uh, no, just the purchase agreement. No. It doesn't just... Oh, yeah, it'll be on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I knew I saw one somewhere. It's on this one. Oh, okay. Oh, hand it off? Yeah, okay. Gotcha. But that dealt with the road. Uh, can I get a motion to approve? So move. A second. You need more discussion on this. I don't think I have that now. It's the one that came out here. I know it is. It's over here. This one. Here. 
like Subway's right there. No, wait, where are we? Subway's right there. So it's that land to the oh, west. Okay. Now there will be some issues that we're going to have to address as far as access. Utilities sounded pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Gary didn't seem to have a problem with that. Yeah. Um, you know, it'd be easier if we had that access to that whole chunk of land, but we don't. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's not part of and that our control. And even if someday there was an additional access, it it would be nice to have a a through you know through street. I mean, sure. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Where they could be connected. Plus, this road can possibly be an access the other way to the Pearson property. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's now for sale, so kind of as a double benefit. Mm -hmm. And the business proposal is would be a really nice addition. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice mm -hmm. addition from Black. <clears throat> Any questions on it? Um, no. A long time ago, they talked about a road through the between uh, where the Barbara Jeans was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of extending that yeah. other road. Yep. Yeah. But I don't think that's going to happen. No, we that whole strip Maybe of land can't. in the middle there is. Moving painfully slow. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and they want to get moving. So this mm -hmm. is a solution that kind of works for everybody, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and the purchase agreement is the same as we discussed mm -hmm. last last month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing we need to know on that, right? No, nope. I just mm -hmm. took the letter of intent and turned it into a legal document with a bunch mm -hmm. more words. Yep. <laughs> Anything, you're good. Okay. If nothing else, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So that passes. So hopefully that means we can keep moving forward. And then it's. Develop, how's the developer's agreement stuff then? How is that going to kind of shake out now? Uh, I yeah, was going to ask the same question. I wasn't <laughs> sure if you guys had your own people that you wanted to use or if you wanted to have the city, have the city have me do it. Yeah, I think, I mean, I would just say. Let's just have the city, and I think we have as long as we okay. have a good general uh, working, you know, understanding of what we want to do. Um, maybe we just get together, have a meeting, okay, get together, city signs that, and then it works. Yeah. yeah, that works. Keep sure. it as simple as possible. Yeah. Okay. Good. Simple is good. All right. Okay. Good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, now the yeah. access road. This was the addition access road to the property near the liquor store. Ordering plans and specs. This came out of, I don't know where the email is on here, but um, I know Phil wanted Phil, to get going on it. Yeah, he'll uh, need well, to I design know, that road. So do they. So, mm -hmm. um, and this is the first step. So, this would kind of get the ball rolling on getting that road figured out and what we can do with it. Move for approval. I'll second. Any other discussion with it? All in favor? Uh, aye. aye. Opposed? So we can get going on that. Great. Uh, Boulder Ridge 4th edition plaque correction. Uh, can I get a motion for that? I'll make a motion. Second. Uh, this was just a simple correction, wasn't just a, it? Yep, just a very simple um, Two foot correction, plat correction is all. Yeah, didn't seem like any problem there. Any other discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That passes. Special event application community grad party. I need a motion for that. So moved. This is new, I think. I don't think they've ever done this before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, a DC Express. Anything at all looks good. There wasn't anything missing, was there? No. Okay. Fine. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? And the grad party passes. Another special event, Black and Kitty Parade. 
Same as always. Can I get a motion? Make a motion. I'll second. Any questions on that? Pretty straightforward. Hall in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> Kitty Parade passes. Another special minute. Rhythm on the Rum Parade. <laughs> And that is, oh, can I get a motion first? So moved. A second. Same thing, nothing changed there. I think they moved it up a little bit time-wise, right? Mm -hmm. 5 p.m. Yeah. Other than that, same route, same everything. Yes. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? One passes. And our last one, movies in the park, two dates. Any motion for that? So move. I'll second. July and August. Any other discussion on that one? Are they going to try they're not food, getting food trucks or anything for those, are they? No. Or ice cream or anything? I don't think so. No. Just the movies? No. Okay. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That passes. Okay. So that's been, that was what, one, two, three, four tonight. We must have had five or five six last, last month. month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a lot of special event things. That's really yeah. good to see. It is that. Uh, J was an, J1 was an addition, um, possibly changing the June City Council meeting. Remember, we moved it to Wednesday the 21st because of the parade the week before. I'm the bad guy. I, my reservations got changed for our family to that Wednesday. So if we can move it to Tuesday, that would be great. If we can't, I'll just deal with it. But can you do just, Monday instead of Tuesday? Yeah, I don't care. Monday's a holiday. It is? is it? Yeah, Juneteenth. Oh, that's Juneteenth. Uh, What's Tuesday? Oh, it doesn't much matter. Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> or, well, we really don't have a lot of other options, really. Well, we can do it if I, if I have to miss it, hopefully, or someone will be here, mm -hmm. it's fine. Okay. So June 20th? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. What if we did it early? Four o'clock. <laughs> no, really? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what, what is it moved to? The 20th. June 20th. 20th. Okay. Still at 6.30? I think so. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you though about doing a day one one time for like city employees and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, oh, closed meeting. Okay. Uh, agenda, new business closed meeting. Uh, the agenda item for this meeting is to discuss the intent to purchase real estate. This portion of the properly noticed meeting of the Malak City Council will be closed pursuant to Minnesota statutes under the closed meeting for real estate sales or purchases, exception to the Minnesota Open Meeting Law, pursuant to Minnesota Statute Section 13D.05, Subdivision 3A.3, which states, to develop or consider offers or counteroffers for the purchase or sale of real or personal property. The need for confidentiality outweighs the purposes served by the Open Meeting Law in this case, based on the following. Confidentiality is necessary to protect the city's negotiating strength and interest as to real estate negotiations. The purpose of the closed meeting is not to make a decision behind closed doors, but instead is to determine what actions are appropriate with respect to the, re to the real estate negotiations. The only business to be discussed in this portion of the meeting will be the real estate negotiations and what action, if any, should be taken. I will now entertain a motion to close this portion of the meeting. So I'll move. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Council will now go into a closed session. The time is 717. 717. Only the officials can consult.